Noah's been using the Phonoc FM for about 12 months. We started the Radio Aid trial um, sort of end of July last year and we finished it May this year and we're still using it up to now, so about 12 months. As we went along we found out that it was more beneficial in certain situations, so for example in the car or when I'm sort of in another room or if we're doing like sing songs and there's like quite a few a few of us doing it in the family or whatever, you know it's good with things like that. I've never used one before, so like I've used one for, for the last three months with Noah. Uh, I find it useful, the radio weight with him. She's been using the FM since December 2009, which is seven, eight months. A regular example of using the FM would be down at the stables. Um, obviously we, we use it in the car to get there as well and then we use it when we're outside at the stables, maybe out horse riding um, when she's got a hat on. So obviously it's blocking a slight blockage from the microphone on the top of the hearing aid. Um, just anything, anything that's outside really is really, really useful. Uh, Charlotte's been using the FM for approximately nine to 10 months altogether. Um, she uses it every day and it has been a big help to her. Well, in, in, in normal environment it's a very noisy world anyway and um, for a child with a hearing loss that's quite difficult to pick up speech in, in a lot of noise. So what the FM does is it focuses the speech for them, especially in a nursery environment where you've got a lot of children's chatter, you've got a lot of echoey rooms. It does mean that Charlotte's been able to hear their voices better and her communication has, has, has been improving from there. She, wasn't, she was talking but she wasn't able to communicate with staff. But now she's come on and she can tell us what she wants, what she needs, communicate with other children. So it's brought her on a lot. The concept of an FM system is very simple. Um, it's a very basic system where you have an FM transmitter and an FM receiver which is um, linked to the hearing aid. So when the person who speaks through the transmitter microphone speaks, their voice is directly sent across radio frequency into the child's hearing aid through the receiver they're wearing. Also commonly uh, FM transmitters are known as radio aids because of the way that they're using the radio frequency. When he was in there and I said, no, bring mummy the book, you know, I had the radio aid in, he would, you know, he would bring me the book Whereas if he had his, just his hearing aids in, you know, I might have to like really shout or, you know, like do a few more gestures or whatever to him rather than, you know, just using my voice alone at just a normal, a normal range. Uh, outdoor play, we try and use it either, obviously with it being a big area, we want him to be able to hear us and properly and get clear instructions. Like say if he's climbing up the slide, we want to make sure he's safe as he's doing that. Um, Sometimes we will use it like at meal times, but we find that at meal times he will listen anyway because like he's sat down it's quite quiet. Um, sleep times we don't need to use it obviously because he's going to sleep. Um, other times, probably in the library area as well when we go outside of the room. We have like a library area, we try and use it in there as well. And then just like any small group activities really. Um, in the car, I know I've been told from audiologists when she's in the car, all she can hear is the, the, the drone of the engine really. Um, what I've noticed using the FM in the car, she's more responsive. She'll join in with nursery rhymes when we have it on in the car. Um, if I'm in the passenger seat, I can just shout and she'll look at me through the, the passenger mirror and wave to me, whereas if she's not got it on, she doesn't, she just doesn't listen because all she can hear is the zzzz from the engine. Well, yeah, if we went to a play centre and we didn't have the FM, it's very noisy, a lot of children shouting. So Charlotte would struggle to hear in that situation. 
whereas with the FM she can hear me even if she can't necessarily always see me which means that she's a bit more confident playing on, on her own or playing with the other children there doing the activities or whatever they have knowing that she can hear mum if she needs to whereas before she would be constantly looking for me. Um, she, had, she was very clingy at the beginning because of that um, and she has got better with that because she does know she can still hear me. I'm not necessarily have to be in view all the time now. Because obviously the benefits it's had for Noah have been absolutely brilliant and you can actually see the benefits. It's not one of those things that you know you don't see benefits for years and years. You can actually see it as your child's progressing. Um, and basically you want to give your child every opportunity to, to live as normal a life as possible in a hearing world. So if you can do that, try and mimic normal hearing as best as possible, then you know, by giving by letting them use the radio aid, then I feel that that's giving them that chance to do that. Get one, they're really, really good, really useful. Um, nursery all commented on how useful it's been to them. I found it brilliant when it was winter time and they had the hoods on and the hats on. It's just really, really, really useful and I would say to anybody, get one. Um, I would recommend the FM to, to all parents of hearing impaired from a young age because it does make such a difference. The early years of communication are really important and with correct hearing aids and the FM on top, it just means that that deaf child when they start school is at the same level as the peers and isn't at a disadvantage, which is really important for them starting school. You don't want them being behind at the beginning because obviously that's going to escalate as years go on.